NOAA has released their update on our La Nina status in the Pacific Ocean and what it has in store for our winter ahead. Before we get into the updates, let's just do a refresher on what the La Nina is. It's the pattern when our uh, equatorial trade winds over the Pacific push all that warm surface water over towards Indonesia and Australia and that's replaced by our upwelling of that cold water over towards Central and South America. And this is an actual scan over the last couple of months. You see all that warm water over towards uh, Asia and Australia. And there's our cold water starting to upwell. And we don't have any signs of that coming to an end in the near future. So here's a few stats. We have had 21 of the past 24 months in La Nina status. And we could be looking at uh, the third consecutive La Nina winter. We have a 70% chance that the La Nina pattern will hold into the beginning of winter. We don't have a chance of it going to neutral, a 50-50 chance until we get to January, February, March. And if it does come to an end at that time, it'll only be the fourth time in 24 La Nina winters where it comes to an end in the, uh, in the winter pattern. So what does this mean for our winter moving forward? La Nina means cold and wet in the west and unsettled in the east. And, but it's not all bad news. We've had two La Nina winters over the last two years. And the only place that hasn't had a winter above seasonal is actually Saskatoon.